Joanna Hall, the Walk Active coach and creator and founder of Walk Active. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some simple, quick and easy tips to make your walking program a success. And this is particularly relevant if you are new to exercise and you're starting out on a walking program. So perhaps you signed up for a walking event, a fundraising, charity event, and you're really on the first steps. These tips will actually make your walking program a success. And you'll also find them helpful if maybe your efforts in the past have slightly slipped off the wagon. So stick around and we'll dive right on in. Number one, love your feet. Yes, it's true. If your feet are feeling uncomfortable, they're probably the quickest way to curb your walking efforts and stop you getting out that front door to put some steps into your body. So think about, first of all, the length of your toenails, because if your toenails are long, when you actually have contact with your toes at the end of your shoes, you're going to end up having slightly bruised nail beds, and that can be really, really tender. The second part about your feet is check your actual footwear. You want to make sure that you have space at the end of your shoe and I recommend generally about a thumb distance is really good because when you actually walk with good technique and you need to be thinking about this, think about having your foot being more active. So when your foot is more active you've got more movement going through the foot, that's going to help the correct alignment from the foot coming up into the knee joint and into the hip and when the foot becomes more active and mobile you can leave the foot behind you which is going to give you more mobility in the ankle joint and again that specifically is going to safeguard your knees so if you've got long toenails and your ill-fitting shoes you're going to find that your feet are going to get really really sore so don't do that love your feet and give them a little bit of TLC now the second thing is find make take you've got to make sure this walking program happens so get your diary out find the times that work for you look at your calendar what fits with your family where are you going to feel good about taking that time and then make that time happen so what I mean by that is have your trainers ready do you need to have a waterproof have a baseball cap have all these things that are actually going to make your walking process more enjoyable handy and accessible with you so it might be by your front door it could be in your car but they're there so you don't have to sort of faff around and find all these things because those are going to create a distraction and studies have shown that if you have distractions sometimes that distraction can take up to 25 minutes to get then absorbed absorbed in the next activity. So make sure you get these things on your side. And the last thing is to actually take that time. So make yourself accountable. Set up notifications, maybe in your smart devices. Um, speak to your family. Commit this with your friends so you really make sure you find the time, you make the time and you take the time. Number three, quality over quantity. Now historically we've been really really hung up about actually having X number of steps every day and really counting our steps but what's interesting now is studies are showing that actually it's not so much how many steps we take each day but it's the quality of the steps. So how we walk in terms of our technique where we walk in terms of our environment and the pace of our walk can be far more profound and meaningful for improving our health and our fitness. And this can be particularly powerful if maybe you are starting out obviously on your walking program or possibly you actually don't necessarily consider yourself to be a real exercise lover. If you do a really good quality movement pattern for a short period of time at the right pace, this can be far more meaningful for improvements on your fitness and your well-being and for your head and for your heart, okay? So think about quality versus quantity. Number four, think about finding an out back. Now what I mean by this is you've got to make these walking things happen for you, okay? Take these walking sessions and you may find in your day and in your week there are consistent places where you spend a lot of time. So find yourself three locations where you are often finding yourself. So it could be from your home, it could be your office, it could be your desk, maybe it's a supermarket, maybe it's your child's school. But find those locations and from those locations you need to find yourself an outback route. And that outback route needs to be five minutes in duration, 10 minutes in duration and also 15 minutes in duration. So you have these routes at your fingertips so you're bashing down and creating any distance or limitations from actually physically getting out the door and doing it wherever you are. And these small snippets when you're working on your quality of movement pattern really can gather momentum.
And my last tip for you is bring on the joy. Really, really important. Now we all know if we set ourselves a goal, it's great to actually have a reward. But sometimes we can be focused on the reward in the distance once we completed the end task. In actual fact, it's really powerful now to be thinking about the task and praising ourselves as we do it. Now neuroscience is showing that this can be incredibly powerful to helping sustain and creating momentum to our efforts. And that's because the part in the brain where we create our memory and we create habits is very close to the part of the brain where we actually create our emotions. So when we're actually taking an action, it's important that we bolt on a real positive association with that memory. And when we do that, we're really consolidating and associating a positive feel-good factor. So when you get out, say, yay, well done, that's really good for me. And really acknowledge that and for the effort for you to do it there and then. And when you do that, you will really harness neuroscience, you give yourself a little cognitive catapult, you'll multiply your motivation, you will energize your efforts, and then you really start to see success in your walking efforts. Okay, so lovely people, there's some quick, simple, easy tips that you can put into practice to really make your walking program a success. So from me, Joanna, your Walk Active Coach, have a great time. Good luck with your walking program. Let me know how you get on, and I look forward to hearing your comments below. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.